union type and what it is let's understand in this episode so this is the 15th uh, folder or directory and let's start and getting the idea of union type we have already seen it but let's go into the depth of this suppose i create a variable called id and then i assign id one to three that's very nice and type inference says that the id is a number but if we want to uh, assign one to three as a string it's not getting it but if you want the flexibility then what you can do you can say that hey id is a variable without any type and then typescript will get the type whenever you assign any value but at this point since we have allowed to user that hey you can add a number or a string to id but the problem arises because it's any type user can also add the booleans inside that so this is not good we want to restrict the user to only two type so if i assign it as a number then string will complain if i assign it as a string then number will complain so what you can do you can actually use the pipe sign and then define another type something like this and now you can see it's working but if i add the boolean it says that hey only string and numbers are allowed for this variable and make sure it's not having any difficulty in reversing the sequence so sequence doesn't matter what matter is how many types you want to add now later suppose you want to add boolean also that's okay that's totally fine we can add the boolean and it doesn't have any issue now what is the real use case of this thing so let's understand the real use case so first i'm going to create a function called print id and then i will get the id and i'm not defining any you can say uh, i'm not defining any type then i want to console log id and see the result so see first it says that it is having a type of any so let's keep it at any and then i say print id and i will say one two three and let's move into 15th one npm run start and one more time node index and you can see one two three is printed now what if i have one two three as a string still we have this but things get worse when we have true and that's what we have now suppose we don't know about the union type then how we can do that so we can check if type of id is a string then i want to console log and i want to just do the uppercase of it yes this is very nice because we get the auto completion and if this is a type of uh, or i can simply use the else part else just console log id and that's it actually now by doing this if we see this time okay so something is rare okay so yes we can actually add if for our number also so it's if it is a number then just console log so now you can see we are not having any log because we are passing it a boolean thing now if i say hello as a id you can see id hello is now uppercase and this thing is not good why because we need to define that it's a number or it's a string just by doing that what if i do this so we have eliminated one possibility that okay it cannot be anything uh, other than number and string but if i do this thing 
still complaining that hey it could be a number but uppercase is only for the you can say string so if i just pass number and see we are getting error so we can eliminate only one thing and we just have one uh, conditional which is like if it is a string then uppercase otherwise do any other thing so it's just a else part great okay so let's run it and yes you can see 12 is there and one more time if hello is there that's great so this is called the union type where we can combine more than one type to define the type for any variable so i hope you like this episode please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to bitfilms youtube channel like bitfilms on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye